Brainwaves reached out to me and asked me to look at some of their products. I did not know much about them, only saw the brand name a few times while browsing. I asked them, what models am I to look at? They said, Delta and one other. And in the beginning, I was a bit reluctant as I get lots of emails to review cheap earphones and I politely decline. However, one thing caught my interest, their 3D printed earphones. And I told them about it. They sent me all three. So here we are looking at three earphones from Brainwaves. Intro. First, we have the Delta. Official price is $27.50. Amazon price is $22.50. Next, we have the S0. Official price $49.50. And Amazon price $44.50. And finally, we have the B200 version 2. Official price is $119.50 and in Amazon they are selling for the same price. These prices have been checked on September 2018. Please follow the link in the description below to see the most updated price as they change over time. Time to unbox them. Delta first. From the outset, these are presented well. Once we open the box, we have a hard case and the case is rather good. Opening the case, we have the earphones first. Next, we have a set of comply memory foam ear tips. Very important and I'll talk about it in more details in a moment. Then we have the shirt clip and then a bag full of different sized silicone ear tips. Before we move on, there is one point to note. That on the box of Delta, it says 12 months warranty. Inside, it says 24 months warranty. On the website, as I write this, it says both Two years warranty and 12 month warranty on the same page. Officially I received the following explanation. In regards to Delta warranty, it is 12 months. Sorry, the website is out of date and is currently being updated. So folks, just to be sure, we are getting 12 months warranty with Delta and the other two is 24 months. But I hope Brainwaves will honor warranty claim past the one year mark since they have made a mistake. Moving on. Next, let's unbox the S0. From the outside, it presents itself in rather similar fashion as Delta. The hard case it comes in is identical as well, which I do not mind at all, it's a good case. Inside, things are presented in similar fashion as well. We have the earphones in plastic, a shirt clip, then the same comply memory foam tip a much larger bag of different sized ear tips and a user's manual. Finally, let us quickly unbox the B200 before we go into features. Having unboxed items for over 8 years now, I can tell what we have in front of us is in the premium territory. Once we slide out the sleeve, the first thing the box says is 24 month warranty and on the side it says brainwaves. Then we open the box and the inside is printed with various graphics and everything is presented so nicely. There was an extra set of cables included outside the hard case. The hard case is the same one we have seen in the other two earphones. Below the hard case, there are two cleaning wipes. Inside the case, we have the shirt clip, a set of comply memory foam ear tips. This time it's red. Then there's a bag of additional silicone ear tips, a user guide and finally the earphones themselves. And now the physical features, starting from the jack. All three are gold plated with some difference in the shape of the overall body of the jack. Moving up, there are two cables for B200 and they are these woven style cables which does have a premium feel to it. There is a slider for better cable management as well. They provide one with remote and other without. There is no discernible difference in sound between the two cables. The remote itself has a nice finish with very clicky tactile feedback. Next, in S0, we have this matte finished black ribbon styled cable. This kind of cable has gained in popularity in recent years as it makes them more tangle resistant, thus travel and storage friendly. The remote has three buttons as usual, but these are hands down the best buttons in any inline remote I have ever come across. The buttons are well pronounced, 
So just by feeling the remote, you immediately know which button is what. Then there is the click. You press the button and it has the most satisfying tactile feedback ever. You, my good sir, have pressed a button. Finally, we have the Delta. Standard earphone cable with regular rubber insulation. There is a slider here as well. The remote in Delta has single button, which we can use to do play, pause, next track, and call controls. No volume adjustments here. Contrary to the manual, which shows three buttons. As far as Delta's cable goes, it's business as usual. Now the earbuds themselves. I'll start with Delta. I never expected to see an all-metal earphone for 20 something dollars. Saying all-metal is not the end of the story. This here is a brilliantly finished object. There is no production fault to speak of. The S0 is a similar story. An all-metal construction, shaped more like a bullet and finished without any compromise. Next up, the B200. This is in a league of its own. Brainwaves used a particular 3D printing technology that makes the shell out of resin. The jelly bean shape has been designed to favor ergonomics. This will appeal to a select group of people and certainly this is not a mass market product like the other two in this video, but it has its place. Before I move into sound quality, let me cover the fit and ergonomics as that is very important. Brainwaves ships spare silicon tips with each of these earphones, while Delta has three different sized ear tips included. The S0 includes six sets of silicon ear tips and they are color coded as well. You can try different ones till the fit is just right for you. The B200 has six sets of silicon ear tips included as well, though not color coded. And finally, the comply memory foam ear tips that is included with each one. That changes everything. You see, the memory foam conforms to your ear's shape. It takes about 30 seconds to expand out and forms a perfect seal and perfect fit. Doesn't matter what shape your ears are, it will shape accordingly. As a result, this setup is the most comfortable in-canal earphone. While testing, I had these on for hours at a time with zero fatigue. The cables connect to the earphones using micro miniature coaxial connectors, which means that it is easier to get replacement cables of your choice for these earphones. So points for modularity. Now on to the business of sound. Let's start with the B200. Right off the bat, my immediate reaction was that this really does not have much in the way of low end bass as the other two but that is for a reason. All the bass notes pretty much become audible individually. It is really sensitive, reminded me of the M50. If you are a musician, let's say, and want to listen into one instrument of the band in all its details, this earphone will let you do that. As sensitive as this earphone is, its sound signature is somewhat of an acquired taste. This is a dual driver earphone and that is apparent. It brings forth so much detail that single driver earphones rarely can. A good sound card or amp really does justice to the B200. If it was not for the low end bass, the B200 would have been the holy grail of earphone perfection. Moving on to the S0. In-ear monitor is a term loosely thrown around, but as far as responsive sound goes, the S0 provides that rather well. The really low rumbling bass has nice presence. And moving across the spectrum to the highs, they are all well defined as well. I would say that there is coloration, but that is not a bad thing in this case. We want the sound to be enjoyable, which it most certainly is. And let us not forget that we have the memory foam ear tips. I'll pick these up any day to watch a movie or while commuting. No issues. The 45 odd dollars for these, yep, a perfectly decent proposition. Delta's turn. Well, so far we have already seen that 
this earphone has been given as many things brainwaves could to make this a successful product. Last item we need good is the sound. Well, is it? You bet. Ignore the price tag for now. It has lows that is as good as the S0. Mids are good enough as well for any genre, including classical and heavy metal. Treble is nice and clear, with only the last part of the spectrum, the upper highs, does not have high enough level. The S0 has better balanced treble in that case. But for a sub $25 earphone, this is without a doubt incredibly impressive. You want comparison? Well, how about the Sol Republic jacks that we reviewed earlier? Well, I do not have to go into any detail, hands down, by a country mile, Delta crushes the jacks. There is no contest here. So in conclusion, the B200 is very unique set of earphones. It is great value for those who are looking for something that sensitive. It is going to appeal to a select few, if powered by a good source, it will deliver. The S0 is a good all-rounder with a comprehensive set of inclusions and features, and most importantly, a pleasant sound signature from low to high, in-ear monitor or not. It is very well built, good sounding set of earphones, sold at a fair price. The Delta. Now this is something special. Think about it. The Comply Ear Tips sells in Amazon for $15. Brainwaves is including the same hard case that they are shipping with their top shelf product and they include silicon ear tips as well. They spent properly. I asked Brainwaves if Delta is being sold below cost. <laughs> they refuse to comment on this and understandably so. But it makes sense. Sell a $45 earphone for $22 and reviewers like us will love it. Word goes around and it's a great form of advertisement. Everyone wins. At this price point, it surpasses expectations and is possibly the best value overall package under $30. If there is any better, you can let me know. Well, that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. There are some interesting comparison videos coming up soon, so stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.